absolutely delightful. It happens to be Black Friday, and because Black Friday started at midnight, I actually did get to leave the not kick in on Black Friday. We went to the park. Maybe because deals weren't quite there, like people thought they were going to be. Could also be if they would last night. You know, you have to check it out. The green line is Can you believe this? Black Friday in Southern California. It happens to be a jarhead But meanwhile, we're going to bring old Camel with comments on the headlines of today. Black Friday shopping, unprecedented sales. Well, I know. They, they said the President of the United States this morning came on and claimed responsibility because of his economic plan, despite the Republicans trying to, actually, the Republicans and George Bush tried to stop this great Black Friday from happening. But uh, because of his economic plan, they were able to to make certain that this Friday was going to happen and be as successful as it is. The problem is, when you account for inflation and you account for the fact that they have the most god-awful liberal return policy on every business this year with no restocking fees, that people, actually what we saw was people just buying stuff without buying them on, buying boxes of things because they were cheap, buying everything you think of without ever, without any knowledge of whether it's going to work because, well, don't worry, if you don't like it, just return it. Well, that's what they always try and tell you to do in retail. Ah, not, not on Black Friday. They don't like Black Friday returns. Because it basically, uh, the, you know, it, it's just, most of the stuff on sale on Black Friday are things that they can't give away. So what happens? You want to restock what you can't give away? Well, they bring in a lot of special stuff. Yeah. That way. Yeah, yeah but then it gets it's returned. Black Friday. And then it's returned, and then they got to figure out how to get rid of it. Yeah. And then yeah. They, they put it on sale for the same price two weeks later. And the North American president, uh, no American president has ever been defeated in his re-election. But the market is up on Thanksgiving, meaning Obama is the winner. I know. They said that uh, the, he is overwhelmingly the favorite to win because history is never wrong. The only problem was, was the uh, market fell by 5% this week. And uh, the market was not up for Thanksgiving. It was down by almost a thousand points in the last six sessions. The day they thought was going to be up, and then Obama came on and claimed credit for all the success that went down. So, I mean, it just, I mean, it just if they're trying to be historical precedents, History says that Obama cannot be re-elected under any circumstances now. And Chinese spacecraft back on Earth after docking test photos. I know. Now we're, we're basically, the Chinese are getting ready to build a shuttle. They're getting ready to build a space station. And why aren't we? Because Muslims don't believe in space uh, being in outer space. So. In California, Supreme Court backers can defend gay marriage ban. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, Nobody could understand the logic behind that court decision to begin with, saying that uh, no, only the state could define, could defend it. And since the state wasn't going to defend it, it means there could be no, no defense of the court in, in the higher courts. So, so they, they basically they knew they were going to lose this in the appeals court. So they basically, oh yeah, you have a constitutional right to defend what you wrote. Yeah. And Republican right does not want bombing. This is another Obama as far as they're concerned. Yeah, I mean, they're listening this morning. Obama changed his message again in uh, Idaho last night in order to be more reflective of the attitudes of the people of Idaho, of, of, of Iowa. And they said, you know, basically he, he changes his position depending upon what state he's in. And the conservative right does not want this man. They will not support him. And they're doing, well, the people, they have to come out and support him because they need the person that's most electable. And they said, Nominating another Obama is not the most electable candidate, folks. I mean, everybody with the Republican press seems to understand that. And crowds hit stores for Black Friday deals. Well, you know, we hit the stores. We were there at midnight last night, walked around, thought about getting some things, but then you figure it was going to take at least an hour in line to save $10. Yeah, forget it. That's right. We also found stores where there were absolutely no lines outside. In the mall, there's stores with no lines outside, and we found the Best Buy that you could just walk into the building, unlike they were doing where we were at, where only a few people at a time were allowed. 
Yeah. The idea, we did go to a couple different Best Buys. Yeah, but the idea of having a Black Friday sale is to get as many people into the businesses as humanly possible so that they can sell you the stuff that's not the junk. And if, if Target and Best Buy, for instance, were limiting, the, you know, only when somebody came out could you go in. So that was... They were already so many people in today at Fire Marshall. Yeah, but there was nobody in the store. I sat there and saw the store. Really? It was virtually empty. And Russian lawmakers stand behind fines for gay propaganda. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, what? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, and, and that's a good one. Just for, uh, <laughs> for, okay, uh, basically, they don't like gay people anywhere in the world except the United States. They kill them everywhere else in the world. I mean, the British tolerate them, but they don't give them special rights. I mean, because they figure that, okay, a lifestyle choice is not a choice to be protected by law. I mean, what about the guy that wants to have sex with kids? That has to be protected according to the Obama doctrine. You know, for animal sex, anything you can think of. Having more than one wife? Well, but then again, that is, you know, Muslims have more than one wife, but they, they do kill gay people, though, so. With eyes on militants, Israel trying to build ties to Africa. No, they're not. They could care less about ties with Africa. They're, because it's all Muslim back there, folks. They don't deal with Muslims. I mean, that's a really, I mean, that's an asinine piece of material right there. I mean, it wasn't done by the Israeli press, you can tell that. And Energy Secretary Chu's White House did not contact him on loan. Yeah, but they got, they got more emails of the fact that the White House was in direct contact for him. When the White House says, uh, let's put it this way, is Biden a member of the White House? When Biden, when Biden email is basically from Biden himself, which you'll say was not from him, says that we've got to do something about these loans or the companies are going to go under. That's White House contacting you. Totally White House contacting you. They, you know, like they said, Chu is gone. You know, like a lot of the other Obama people are all going one after another are being tossed under the wheels of his election campaign. So. And raised in Syria as pressure mounts on Assad regime. They're not going to force them out. The guy is the second most, he's the second most wealthy um, and powerful Muslim country in the Middle East. So you think you're going to force the guy out when the military is in total control? That's not going to happen, folks. It, because there is no demo, real democracy movement. In, they're trying to get him now on human rights violations. And that's going to, they said that the, the, the UN and Council is going to bring human rights charges against Assad, which... They've been bringing him against the family for 50 years. And women more likely to have a broken heart syndrome. Well, since the 60, over 62% of people in the world are women, that would tend to bear the fact that if there are more women than there are men, theoretically women have to have more broken hearts because there are more of them. Oh, but don't they make perfect sense with I know, if somebody did a survey, that would be good. The UK president docked over phone hacking and Okay, first of all, I hate to really tell people a secret, but this has been going on since I used to, we used to have L.A. Confidential and, and, uh, and Walter, uh, uh, Walter Winchell and, uh, and Luella Parson. Those people used to be gossip types. They would destroy people's careers. And uh, go look at the, you know, the movie with, uh, with Tony Curtis and, um, and Burt Lancaster all about the, how powerful the, uh, that type of press is. They can make or break a career. It just depends on whether they like you or not. So this is nothing new. And the British tabloids have always been the worst because the, the, you don't, and the British have a weird system of law. You cannot libel somebody and get away with it, but then they'll charge you like maybe a pound for doing it. So it's a, I mean, I saw a movie years ago with the young Anthony Hopkins, and Anthony Hopkins has been accused of being a Nazi. Uh, during World War II, you know, even though that he was, a, he was a, you know, a, a highly respected British surgeon for the British military, they said he was actually a Nazi officer serving with them, and they, uh, they, he beat him in court, and uh, and then they awarded him one pound for his trouble. One pound. One pound, and he said, but they destroyed my reputation, destroyed my business, caused my family to. Uh, break up, lost my home, and I got a pound. They said, yes, but you had the satisfaction of knowing that they were proved to be wrong. It's no satisfaction. I remember years ago, uh, okay, they used to have, uh, they accused Robert Wagner 
and, and, and Natalie Wood of being gay, so they went to court and they won a great big um, settlement from them. Uh, they had uh, they accused them of being gay and went to court over it? They accused them to be, they went to the British tabloid, went to get the tabloids in court. The tabloids, do you know what the punishment for the tabloid was? What? They made a t-shirt that said Robert Wagner and Natalie Wood are not gay. And they spent like a hundred thousand pounds to win that settlement. Uh -huh. And Egypt's new prime minister um, claims greater power than predecessor. Yeah, what it is is you replace one bad guy with someone that is always worse. That's how it works in a dictatorship, folks. Well, isn't that how the other guy gets to be leader? Yeah, that's generally you don't get voted out of power in a dictatorship. You get removed from power, and that's what happened. I know more people... And give her their turkey at the Tucson Air Base. I know. And I, this is getting to be pathetic, folks. They keep calling this woman out like there's nothing wrong. She has... Uh, I know. <laughs> She has no memory of certain events and is gone. Parts of her mind are gone forever. And they keep hauling her out to try to prove a point. I mean, they're not, you know, it, it, you know, she basically doesn't remember anything and she never will remember things because part of her brain is gone. You know, she was young maybe, but not at her age. It's just not gonna repair it, so. And a monkey bubble is Mark Twain and the animal. I know. Sometimes it's just best to do what was originally planned.